Welcome back to the channel. My name is Douglas and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you an overview of the Stage EP instrument on the MPC Key 61. Now think of these instruments, and I mentioned this in my stage piano video, but think of these instruments as virtual instruments you'd have inside your DAW. So a lot of keyboards like the Nord or a bunch of the other ones out there have categories of sounds. The way that the MPC key does things is a little bit differently. It's very similar to how a DAW would work. So you have different instruments or virtual instruments. Inside those instruments, you have presets, you have the instrument that you can actually edit, and you have a bunch of different sounds and potentially categories inside that. Especially when you get into like Fabric XL on the MPC key, that has a ton of categories in it. So it's almost like a multi-sound, like, I don't know, like you'd have in a workstation or something like that. But today's focus is gonna be on the Stage EP. So to get to that, if you're not there already, click on the Sounds button here. So if you're back on the main view or something like that, just tap on Sounds. And that's where it's picking the sound for the track that you're currently on. And we're gonna tap on the Stage EP tile here. And that's gonna bring up our Stage EP instrument on the MPC key. Now you can see right here, we're presented with a single preset. And if we play this, And it sounds beautiful, but then there's all of these folders or directories of sound. So we can tap on any one of these and it gives us a whole list of presets underneath that folder. So you can tap on any one of these. And they have put together a lot of these presets that take effects, tweaks to the instrument, and I'll talk about those here in a minute, and provided you with a quick way to get started. Essentially, you can just walk through these different sounds, and we have, we can pull up just like the roads. It's gonna take a second to load. So a lot you can do without even editing the instrument. But what I wanna show you is the instrument itself. So I will be doing a separate video where I'm gonna walk through each of the presets and it's probably gonna be a no talking video. I'm just gonna go through and jam on all of the different presets on the Stage EP instrument. There's a lot of them. I don't know what the number is, but there's just a ton of different sounds. <laughs> You can get lost in here pretty quick, but let's go back, tap on the Studio EP, which is kind of the default preset. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to this little edit instrument button here. And this brings up our main instrument edit screen where we can customize this to however who we want. And I'm gonna walk through some of the different ways you can customize this electric piano. So up at the top left here, we have this kind of like section where we can pick the model that we wanna play, the style, the mechanics, and the polyphony. I always leave the polyphony on 60. Maybe you have a reason to reduce it. Um, but if you tap on that, you can scroll with the main encoder here. You can double tap on it and it brings up and you can slide your finger. Really responsive screen. If you're wondering, you know, how is this screen compared to other touch screens out there? I don't think it's quite as responsive as maybe an iPhone, but it's pretty close. Uh, very responsive. Once in a while it misses a tap. Uh, but the you can pinch, zoom, use it's multi-gesture. It's I, I love it. It's my favorite touch screen I've used on a keyboard. Um, there's not a ton of keyboards out there that have touch screens anyway, but this one does it so well. Now, one thing I want to note here is up in these panels, as I tap on them, notice this little border with the Q. 
So if I tap on these, what this means is it means it's linked to the Q-Link knobs here. And watch these four LED lights here. As I tap through, the Q-Link banks are changing. And I could actually change those myself by just tapping on this Q-Link button. And it moves that Q border between the different sections. And then we can just kind of tap. And these are, these are like, I don't know what the term is, but you can just kind of like rest your finger on it and it shows you the value. They don't actually have a click down, but they do have a little bit of feedback there. So you can kind of tap on them and see what the values are without affecting the value. Really cool. I love that they put that in there. Um, and you can see here that the top knob right here refers to the model, the style, the mechanics, and the polyphony. So we could turn these knobs and that would actually change the model in this case, change the style, or we can tap on these fields here and we can use the encoder. We can use double tap to bring up the actual list or you can tap down on the encoder and that also brings up the list that you can scroll through and then you tap down to select that. So what we have here, let's just walk through these models. I'll play a quick little sample. And that actually the style set on hard. So let's just bring this back to real. And let me show you the values here. So we have real, soft, hard. So. So let's put it back on real and let's scroll through some of these models. So. Then we have Rhodes Hot. Has a little bit more bite to it. And then we get suitcase. You get the noises in there, you get the harmonics or the frequencies. It's beautiful. And I am just absolutely blown away. And I say this in every video because I get excited about equipment and sounds, but what I get excited about is potential. And this has unlimited potential. If I'm looking for a sound and I can't find it in a preset, I can make it my own here. And there's option after option. We have a whirly. And then we have Pianet. You get these noises along with each model and it's just fantastic. Let's go back to the roads and let's talk about a couple of other things here. So roads, we've got style and I kind of explained this already. You have real, soft
and then you have hard. All right, so let's go back to real. And then we have mechanics. So we have mic, which I already kind of played. And then we have FM synth. So you get a little bit of a different sound to this. So enough about this section here. You can go explore that to your heart's content. And if you don't have this yet, watch out, make sure you're subscribed because I'll be putting out that video of the presets. That'll give you a good idea of the capabilities of this instrument, if this video doesn't already. So let's tap down here on this section here. So we have a lot of different controls here, and I'm not gonna go through every one of them because this is just an overview, but to change the parameter value, you can either tap on the knob, slide, you can use the main encoder, or better yet, you can use the Q-Link knobs. The Q-Link knobs are smaller. They're 360, which is how every knob on a keyboard should be. Put down in the comments if you disagree with me, but I absolutely love 360 knobs and I wish it would be the standard. So it's a little easier to twist these and get faster volumes than the main encoder. It moves at a different speed, or you can use your finger and drag up and down to change the value up or down. So we have those setting knobs there. Then we have these tabs along the bottom. So we have model, we have amp envelope, which changes out some of our knobs here. a pad sound <laughs> let's um let's bring that back bring that back bring that back i'm actually going to reset this sound so it's back to the way it was let's bring it back to real that works so then we can go to mechanics mechanics has just mic volume and so if we go here If you can hear what's going on there but the mechanical noises that's how you can control those again i'm going to reset this you can kind of see what the settings are default course tremolo we can change those notice it's just the bottom of this screen kind of swapping out with different uh, parameters here you can turn them off very quickly by tapping on these buttons here And here we have our amp that this is going through and we can, right now it's not turned on, but if we turn on the amp and then we can affect these and they are tied to our Q links. just so much you can do here. And then we have this little arrow. We can tap on that. And we get a couple of additional parameters here. Compressor EQ, again, we can turn these off quickly by tapping on these buttons. And then we have all of these different controls around the compressor. The EQ, we could turn delay on. And if we do that, we can go to this delay reverb. We can change the parameters of the delay and the reverb. So tons you can do here. It's all very nicely tied to the Q-Link knobs, and that's not even touching the presets that they've put together for you by, you know, they've adjusted these parameters and come up with a ton of presets. So again, watch out for that video. Um, this, I'm just, I'm, I'm really excited, and I'm also excited to compare this to the Nord Stage 3 EPs. 
as well as maybe some other virtual instrument EPs out there because I do have quite a library of virtual instruments from um, native instruments and, and other places. So there's a lot of sounds I have there that I can compare to here because I know a lot of you guys get like the native instrument sound packs and it provides you with a ton of good sounds. This kind of has that same idea. It's got 6,000 sounds in it and it's just a huge variety of sounds. So we're gonna dig through them in the coming days. Uh, let's go in here, let's set up a track, just do a little bit of recording here with this electric piano, give you an idea of how it sounds in a mix. So I'm just gonna put my tempo on, let's say 92. So we could have tapped over here as well, but let's make our track one our bass. So we can go in and I have a whole video on actually recording with the MPC key. So I'm not gonna get into that. We're gonna go in here and we're just going to go into Fabric XL. Let's take bass guitars. Let's do Indie Smooth Mute. I like that, that's good. So we go back to our track. And this also is a really nice example of how fast it is to get set up with um, just a track, get set up recording. So if you have an idea, um, I like that. Let's go ahead with that. Load that into our track. And it's just really not only intuitive, but it's extremely quick to go and set up a song. I'm, I'm taking my time here um, talking through this thing, but let's make this drums. I like to label my tracks just for fun. And then here, let's grab our stage EP. That's gonna be our stage EP. And then we can scroll through these different tracks. So we can have our drums. And let's take that volume and bring that down. Let's take that, bring that down a little bit. That way our EP shines. All right, so let's go record this. I'm just gonna do four bars. So if we go back to our main track view, you can see four bars here. I'm gonna tap on record, go back to the beginning, and we are going to record our bass first. Uh, you can do this different ways. For this purpose, I know what I'm gonna record because I was messing around with this earlier, but let's go ahead and record. And then while it's recording, we can move over to our drums. We'll get those in there. So I think we're good there. We're gonna take our metronome, turn that off, move to our track three. And then we can go to our sound. We can go in and edit this however we want while we're playing, while we're, you know, kind of just running through this. Let's grab the, let's do Rhodes Hot with a normal style, real. So just to give you a quick idea of how that sounds in a mix, that was not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. There's a lot more we could do to that, but just gives you an idea of not only 
the beautiful electric piano sound here, but the capabilities of just throwing that into a song, getting your idea out, and then you can either record that here, spend a little more time with it, or import it into your computer and work on it from there. So there you go. That is an overview. I kind of just brushed a lot of the areas, but I really wanted to just give you an idea of the capability, but I really wanted to give you an idea of the capabilities of this instrument. We're gonna be talking about the organ soon. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, throw those down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, stay inspired, and keep making that music. <laughs>